Now, let's see whether this will work without music. If it's the real power of God, it will work just the same. Can somebody say amen? amen. You're all got, it's gone now. Go and enjoy your life. Let's clap our hands and praise the Lord. Listen, you're, you're okay, you're fine. What else do you need? Lower back? Spinal stenosis. You have, he just wants an overhaul. Look, that is so uh, look, good. Look at, the, look at the camera that you turn. Look at the camera. Look completely. Turn all the way. I didn't say turn your head, turn your body. You're looking at the camera? Yeah, you say you have uh, spinal stenosis? Yes. Touch your toes quickly. Go right down. Touch your toes. Quickly. Touch your toes. Go down. Quickly. Quick. Quickly. I know you're expecting some pain. Go, go quickly down there. He hasn't done that in a long time. Touch your toes. Straighten up again. Straighten up. I want your hands up. Up. Raise your hands up. And just go right down. Don't think. Go right down. Quick. Go. Again. Up. Do it again. <laughs> he can hear now. Remember, he has no hearing aid. Now, please, don't line up people like this. I do it all at the same time. If you do it one by one, it takes forever. I like to, I'm, I'm efficient. I'm an engineer. I like to do it fast. I like efficiency. Is that, it's okay. Now, those are, they're already here. Just come. Just come. Just come, 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 come. Lovely people, come back. So, my friend, where is the pain in the back right now? Check it again, one more time. Go down, check it quickly, quickly. Don't think, up and down three times. Go up and down three times. Two. Go down again. When was the last time you touched your toes? A long time. <laughs> I know. It's the age. I'm 77. Only 77. A young boy. Yes. Moses started this ministry at 80 years old, so you have three years ahead of him. <laughs> so when people tell me they're 70, I said, come on, you're a young kid. Moses started at 80 years. So you have at least 40 years to go for it. At least, and it's at most. So you have to learn not to program yourself to die when you got wise. Why are you going to die when you just got wise, maybe at 70 or 60 or 50? You have another time to enjoy the wisdom you've received. Can somebody say amen? What's the point dying when you know all this good stuff? You live. Say, I live. So you have to understand, if you want to live sickness-free, have no picture of death in your spirit. We live in a society where they're bombarding us daily with information about death, 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 sickness, disease, everything else. I call it drinking from the wrong well. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, with thee is the fountain of life. What fountain are you drinking out of? That makes a difference. Where, where are you getting your nourishment? Where are you getting your... I mean, are you more interested in the TV stuff or what the, the doctor says is happening? People hear Ebola and they start thinking, oh my God, the world has ended. There are more people dying of other things than Ebola. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you know that. Yeah. Fear is the enemy's strategy. I'm not afraid of the devil. I'm not afraid of sickness. See, sickness is afraid of me. The pain is not there right now, is it? It's a lot less. It's a lot less. It's, it's actually gone. It's just it stiffness. Be. It's I probably see. stiffness. Just stiffness. I can see. Do this. Just turn yourself around quickly. So unknown to you, there was a surgery that was done while you're looking over there. I'm sorry? A surgery was just done while you're looking over there. <laughs> you didn't know that. They saw it. You didn't. I was just having fun. Amen. 
now do this and jump again again he's only 77 years young let's clap our hands and praise the lord hallelujah you did great <laughs>